welcome back to AWS On Air at Reinforce. My name is Marie Carlton, a manager of Partner Solutions Architecture here at AWS, and I am joined by the lovely Brian over here. <laughs> My name is Brian Terry, and I'm a senior developer advocate on the CloudFormation team, and if this is the first time you're joining us, welcome. Today we're joined by special go uh, special guest, not a ghost at all. <laughs> I'm not ghost at <laughs> Not a ghost, not a ghost, or a pink-footed platypus either. Oh, oh yeah, I hear it. <laughs> yeah, so we're joined by special guest. I'll let him introduce himself. All right, my name is Raghavara Sodabatina. I'm an enterprise solution architect uh, based out of Boston. Awesome, awesome. So, what are we going to be talking about today, um, Raghavara? I'm going to talk about uh, how to build uh, real-time personalized recommendations by using Amazon Personalize. Super cool. And yeah. uh, if you look at right, uh, many uh, organizations are, they wanted to derive the value from their data. Mm -hmm. And they started uh, doing that, building a data lake where they can bring the data from various sources. And then uh, they do some uh, analytics. Analytics could be real-time analytics and it could be a batch analytics. Now, they want to invert their business. What it means, invert, right? Because they wanted to basically cross-sell, buy-sell, and build a better customer experiences, right? And how they can do it? Uh, they have to do like a data prediction. That is where machine learning and uh, AI, um, artificial intelligence will come into play, right? I mean, if you really wanted to build a machine learning, it is still evolving, it's a little complex, and then there's a lack of scale. That is, that is where uh, AWS, we have like many AI services. You just bring the data and then we'll get you output. Awesome. Everything will be taken care by these artificial intelligence services, all right? So today I'm going to talk about, uh, uh, I want to talk about a little bit more about uh, how Amazon Personalize works mm -hmm. internally and then uh, I will also uh, show the demo. Um, let me go back to the, I have a couple of slides which I want to run through. Okay. Um, can you show the slides? Uh, I'm going to the slides. If you look at right, um, in a, if you wanted to build a machine learning on your own, right? What you do first, you bring your data and then do the algorithm, right? Yeah. Whether <coughs> you can choose uh, existing algorithm or you build your own, and then you have to do the train and test, and then you have model ready. You get a prediction, and then basically you use that prediction output into your application so that um, you can uh, show the recommendation. It could be a recommendation, it could be a fraud detection, or it could be anything, right? So uh, with from that, I want to, before we jump into kind of the, the life cycle here, so for folks uh, watching at home, how would we describe Amazon Personalize to them? Yeah, Amazon Personalize is basically, it will make it easy for you. You just uh, bring your data, right? Your data means, um, it is meant for building a personalized recommendation, right? And uh, personalized recommendation can be applied to many industries. Mm -hmm. It could be right. e-commerce, e it could be a media and entertainment, it could be a financial uh, industry, right? Yes. The, how to do it? What we need is, we need user interaction data. Mm -hmm. Who is your user? What interaction they are doing? They're, for example, in e-commerce, interaction could be shopping, right? Okay. And then uh, media and entertainment, it could be watching, right? What what are the videos or shows they are watching, right? Yeah. And then uh, in financial industry, I mean, insurance industry, it could be what kind of uh, insurance product they're buying, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we wanted to make sure that you have this uh, user and um, uh, items interaction. Once you have that, you can fed that data into Amazon Personalize, mm -hmm. and then it will give you the recommendations, right? Yeah. That is where uh, I'm going to talk so about. So it gives me all the recommendations that I end up clicking on, is yeah. that what yeah. I'm hearing? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's a real-time recommendation. Yeah. Let's yeah. see, for example, you're watching a movie, if it is uh, related to some genre, right? And then it will show you the related. Let's, let's say if you're looking some comedy movie on Netflix, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, or maybe Amazon uh, Prime Video, right? Yeah. Then it will show you the related uh, popular uh, comedy videos, right? So that you can put it in your queues to watch later on, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that is the uh, power of uh, Amazon Personalize. And today, uh, which I'm going to show you, in, I, have, I have a slide. Yeah, yeah. If you go to Amazon.com, when you're clicking an item, right, you yeah. see related items. How those related items are coming, Impressive. it is powered by Amazon Personalize. Yeah, yeah. 
So if you look at here, let's uh, swap the sways because I think we've got the wrong one. Let's just swap it real quick. Yeah, if we could. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see this one, right? I mean, it will make it easy for you. Uh, you yeah. just bring the data. You don't need to. You just put the uh, your data into Amazon Personalize. It will give you a campaign. Campaign is nothing but a prediction. Yeah. It comes with yeah. the ARN, and then you can use uh, AWS SDK and all. You can basically integrate your application. Um, cool. before yeah, we let's make it a little bigger. Yeah. Let's just swap let's display. Swap the okay. display to have Yeah, yeah. We're, there we go. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, let's just swap okay. it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but all very interesting. So when we're swapping displays, when you're talking about data. What kind of data structure are we talking about? Are we talking about CSVs? Are yeah, we talking I about mean, pictures? What are we talking about? Any machine learning when you are trying to do CSV okay. is, uh, data format is uh, recommended. Awesome. Uh, because of uh, its easiness and all. All right? So now uh, we talked about campaign. Let's uh, talk a little bit more about uh, how it works, right? So I talked about uh, um, the data, right? User, event, and interaction. That is what I was talking. User could be whatever the user, and the event could be a shopping or watching a movie. And then metadata, right? Metadata could be like a products and videos. And then we also want to collect some user metadata about age and location, because yeah. there could be some recommendations based on your age, based on your location. And then it will basically inspect the data, and it will auto-select a model for you. And then uh, it will give you uh, customized and personalized API. It's kind of an ARN. Mm. It's kind of a web service. Basically, you give an input, it will give you the output. And then integrate with your application. I just want to talk about uh, a little bit more about um, the first step is you add your data, and you create a solution, right? Solution could be like uh, you can choose three here. If you look at we have three solutions here, user level recommendation. This is about providing user based on what uh, he or she is clicking. Mm -hmm. And then um, it also gives the similar similar items. Hey, yeah. If you're looking here, we have more. Like I'm talking about the comedy movie, right? OK, you have more movies, right? Wow. And then also, let's say if you're watching a comedy movie, and then we also give the top ratings. Yeah. OK, these yeah. are the popular ones, so that you can pick and choose. And then um, you basically do the recommendation and see how it's working. And then uh, you basically, you can download the recommendation. That could be a batch. But you can do the real-time recommendation where you can integrate with your application, right? I'm going to talk a little bit of architecture, how you can integrate your application. That is really powerful, because as soon as user is clicking something, yeah. you wanted to capture that moment and show the recommendation. Because once you left the website, then uh, you're done, right? You yeah. want to convert that into a, uh, a business, right? If you look at, right? We have three recipes here, user personalization, if you see that, they're providing you the uh, user personalization here. Basically, recommendation based on the what they saw. And then this is similar items. And then this is a ranking. These are the real Amazon website. And behind the scene, Amazon personalized is being used. And then um, I want to talk about how it works, right? So here, basically, you need to create a data set group where you have uh, items, items nothing but like products, right, mm -hmm. or a movies. And the interaction mean because of interaction between the user and product, what they're touching, right? Yeah, yeah. And then users. And then you create a solution version. Solution version is nothing but uh, model, right? And out of the model, you can create a campaign. Campaign is nothing but uh, inference. Inference means that can be integrated with your uh, application. And then you get a recommendation, and then uh, you put the event. Uh, put the event mean as and when user is clicking, <laughs> you capture that event, and then dynamically you generate the recommendation, right? Ah. How, uh, how it works. If you look at here, uh, let's say you have like an application running here, right? Um, uh, here, Amazon API Gateway, where you can use that. Am Amazon API Gateway is nothing but like an API call from mm -hmm. your application. Yeah. Basically, uh, you, can, uh, you can call it, and then you get the recommendation to your website. Let's say if a user is coming, you know who, uh, who is that user. You have the past history of user interaction. Wow. You show the recommendation, because you are capturing who is that user. Mm -hmm. You send that user ID to the Amazon Personalize, it will give you the recommendation, and you're showing there in the website. I want right? to make sure, because I know you mentioned you had a demo. I want to make sure we get to see this Oh, happening. yeah, definitely. Um, so, uh, can definitely, we skip to the uh, yes. to see how this is happening. Um, I want to yeah. make sure that our viewers get to see the whole thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is the architecture for demo where we are going to basically use uh, three data set. One is the uh, interaction data, item data, user metadata, and then we are going to create uh, three solution, right? One for personalized ranking, one for similarities, one for uh, recommendation, right? right? 
and then we are going to create a campaign so that this campaign can be uh, integrated with our application. So let me go to the console now. Let's check it out. I can't wait to see this demo. I'm super excited. Okay, so now if you look at right, uh, this is the Amazon personalized uh, um, basically uh, screen. Uh, as I said, right, um, here we need to have like a uh, user uh, and uh, interaction data. Yeah, so right? step one, we have to have data yeah, to make sure we, we have make to, these. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you basically, you create a solution, right? You can see here, uh, if you look at here, you have a um, data set, item data set. And then um, if you look at, right, you have a solutions here, all right? The sim solution is there. And then you have like a um, campaign here, right? you are creating a campaign. From there, you are going to get the uh, recommendation, right? For example, now, uh, let's take an example, right? Um, the way I we did here, right, we have a code here. Imagine uh, this is like a SageMaker uh, um, uh, notebook, right, yeah. where you can build end-to-end. Uh, -end. So, for example, here, um, we wanted to see how you get the recommendation, right? Mm -hmm. um, here, we put a user ID, basically 555. This is the user ID we put it. When we put the 55, it gave you the recommendation. So now, for, for example, I'll go here. Uh, I'll go to the console here, all right? I'll put the user ID here, all right? This is 55. Mm -hmm. You click on get recommendation. See, these are the item, right? These are the items where they interacted, they are interested in. This is like a visual representation in the console, yeah. but this can be integrated to your application. And if you look at what those items, these are the items we are talking about, right? See, these are the items they are interested. This is very you know? cool. See, dropper belt, accessories belt, because they are looking at some belt and watches and backpacks. We got backpacks, yeah. we got yeah. a funky belt. These are the items. <laughs> because that is in the data science side where we can't show the item, yeah. we have the numbers yeah. there. Yeah. And then again, if you look at here, right, you want to see uh, like uh, this is the first recommendation. And also you want to see, okay, these customers' views, right? That is where they're saying that if you click on this, other customers also what they're doing, right? Yeah. That is the recommendation it is giving. And then it will give you the ranking here. If you look at here, uh, these are the ranking they're giving, right? This is the thing you, you watched it. And then um, if you see uh, the data, right? Um, you can also create some filters here, all right? Uh, if I go back to Amazon Personalize here, uh, if you look at the filter here, mm -hmm. I don't have any uh, filter here, but you can create a filter. What yeah. is the filter? You, are, you can have like up to five to six filters, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it could be a movie type or it could be a product type, oh. all right? So based on those filters, based on the user who is coming, the relevant filter will be shown and it, it can be filtered out. So you say you have filters for like movies or whatever. So yeah. if there was a movie called Pink-Footed right. Platypus, you could look at Pink-Footed Platypus 1, Pink-Footed yeah. Platypus 2, Pink-Footed Platypus 3, and exactly. all the sequels, right? Yes, cool. exactly. Cool. And this is the ranking, you can see that, right? <laughs> uh, as in when event, right? I was talking about event, right? If a user is clicking on this one, and you know what he is doing, and then you are, we are going to get the real-time recommendations and all. That's super cool. Yeah, I mean, see, now we automated a lot of things. You yeah. don't need to worry about writing a code for your machine learning, right? You only yeah. just bring the data. We have some requirements to the data. You need to have a product metadata or item metadata, and you need to have interaction data where user and product, how they're interacting, right? Yeah. Once you have these two things, then uh, Amazon personalize automatically train the model, and then you can see some metrics, whether the model is performing well and uh, uh, eliminate all the false positives. Yeah. At least you need to see your uh, uh, metrics closer to one, right? Yeah. Once closer to one, uh, I mean, 90% 90, 90 obviously it is not like a it's a prediction data prediction mm -hmm. it is not real yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. so as long as you are good with uh, close to 80 85 to 90% uh, real then you can go and integrate with your application yeah. and then you keep on trying the uh, model Amazon like personalized yeah, like with going, the new data yeah. what you are learning right mm -hmm. yeah. let's say user is clicking on it right yeah. you send back the data back to Amazon personalized it will keep on training and then it will do right and then not only the real-time recommendation, sometimes you might do the batch recommendations, yeah. right? But let's say you are trying to market something and you want to see how that product uh, performed during a year, right? Or a year or maybe month, right? Yeah. And then you see whether you want to produce more of those products. Then you can do the basically batch recommendation and then you can see 
who is clicking what and all right yeah. i mean personalization is now it's not a good to have a skill now it is all the customers are expecting yeah oh I exactly i mean that is very important and let's take an example right if now social media is evolving right if somebody is coming and uh, talking about your product in social media if you are not responding and yes. you are <laughs> you are going to lose it right yes. so that is where you have to act uh, i mean or uh, be proactive and you have to respond to the customer in a real time yeah that is where amazon personalize will help it, it yeah. reduces the churn us as consumers have right yeah. we don't have to even like search yeah. it it just shows up for us right cool. for example right when a customer comes to amazon.com or any e-commerce website when they're clicking an item right that is where uh, you wanted to basically show the recommendation yes yeah. once uh, item has been added cart uh, you already got the business <laughs> you don't need to worry about it right super. but you want to take customer to adding to the cart right yes that is where amazon personalize will help uh, um, customer engagement showing a recommendation and saying that hey there are a lot of similarities other people are buying these right yes. and yes. this is the ranking yes. that way it will help customer engagement and then uh, you can generate uh, more revenue from your business sure. that business could be a um e-commerce it could be a media and entertainment it could be financial services yeah, it could be anything you can yeah. it could be anything as long as you have user and item interaction you yeah. can build this personalized recommendation in real time or a batch based on your business use case sounds cool so we have a few seconds left or a few minutes left yeah. so um how can customers get quickly how can customers get started with personalize yeah we have like a amazon personalize uh, workshop okay. it is available on public internet they All can right. go and uh, look at it there is a cloud formation template Oh. they can install it in their own account and then play around with data that uh, cloud formation template comes with some synthetic data because we don't want to put the real time data real time data it will be big it is going yes. to take a lot of time for Absolutely. training Absolutely. so that's the reason we we created some synthetic data you can play around and see how it looks like and then yeah. once you are comfortable then bring in your own data and train it and see yeah. if model is yeah. works then implement it for your application well it's that time we got to wrap up here but it was a pleasure having you thanks for joining us we'll see you at the next session